UML behavioral things. So under this category, we're going to discuss that a behavioral things consists of dynamic parts of the UML model. That means how the behavior of different things will take place. There. Obviously, that will depict the dynamic part of the model. And following are the behavioral things. So what is, what is the first one? That is the interaction. Interaction is defined as a behavior that consists of a group of messages exchanged between the elements to accomplish a specific task. So here we will be having a directed arrow and here above that we will be writing some message and this particular arrow will be going from one component to the another component, one element from the another element. So let us go for one example for the better understanding. So interaction notation, interaction is basically a message exchange between two UML components. The following diagram represents different notation used in an interaction. So these are known as the objects, let me tell you this one. And this dotted line is known, out, known as the full, the, the dotted line is full there. So there is no interruption, it is known as a timeline and this is known as the activation. So this is, this is the objects we are having, this is known as the timeline and this is known as the activation. So here you see from this particular component to this particular component, some messages are being passed, some messages are being passed and control is returning back. So this is a basic diagram known as the interaction notation. So do ship detection, so here we are having some set of objects you are, you are finding there and there is a do ship detection is a respective message which will be passed from this to this and then we are having another these are the, there is another uh, uh, message we are passing from this particular object to that particular object and it is denoting that its activate, activation is for a long period compared to this one. So whenever this return the control will be returned back to this activation then also this activation will remain active. So this is the notation this is the respective interaction notation here. So we have discussed that one using one proper examples. So later when you will be going for the sequence diagram we are having a separate chapter on sequence diagram and there we will be discussing lots of, uh, lots of uh, the things and features on this interaction notation. So interaction is used to represent the communication among the components of a system. So that is why it is actually holding the dynamic part. So now we are having the state machine. So state machine is useful when the state of an object in its life cycle is important. It defines the sequence of states an object goes through in response to events. One object will have multiple different kind of states and from one state to another state it will have the state transition whenever, whenever some event has occurred. Events are external factors responsible for the state change. So now we are having this state machine notation. So state machine describes the different states of a component in its life cycle and the notation are described in the following diagram. So what is this? This is the initial state. What is this? This is our final state and you, so you see these are the different states of the respective object. So insert card at first it is now in the idle state. So initial state of the object and then insert pin number, so intermediate state of the object and then we are having select from menu, so that is a normal exit then select from menu, abnormal exit will come to this final state here, then select from menu, confirm by pushing the menu, the event has been initiated, now this is another state transition has taken place, so there is a confirmation state and from there the complete transaction has taken place and that is the terminating state or the final state. So this is a state machine notation, here we have shown you the respective state transition diagram. So state machine is used to describe different states of a system component. The state can be active, idle and any other depending upon the situation and depending upon the event whatever has been initiated. So in this way we have discussed that what are the UML behavioral things and what are the different notations we are going to use in this particular aspect. Thanks for watching this video.